There we go. Triple E Elvis clocking in, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My last video got rained on, so I had to drive like 40 minutes over here at the beach just to get the uh, just to get a good video because it was wet. I'm gonna talk about a few things today. So I just drove all the way from just drove 30 minutes, so I'll light this bad boy up. We're gonna get into this one. The wind is blowing too. Hopefully you guys can hear me. All right. Sorry for that. But uh, yeah, so this topic is going to be, I feel like I'm bashing women all the time, but I'm not bashing women. This topic is going to be about women who do not have successful relationships, who want to talk about marriages and relationships. And specifically, Lana Rhodes is out there teaching people how to be a trophy wife. I don't think you've ever even been a wife, one, but on top of that, how are you going to give other people advice when you're not even married right now? Now, that being said, you're like one of the number one porn stars in the world, so how the heck are you going to tell people how to be a trophy wife when most men don't even want that, okay? So that's crazy to even think about. And if Lana Rhodes is watching this, you should probably start getting your morals back together and uh, maybe read the Bible and look at their view on marriage. Or uh, just understand that successful marriages usually don't require you being a porn star. So, that out the way. It's crazy to think that somebody like her, who is not a trophy wife at all, is giving people 1 million subscribers. So giving 1 million, uh, I would guess women, uh, advice to be a trophy wife. Things that make you a trophy wife is not selling your body on the internet. That's just not something that men want. So it's really crazy to be that you're going to give advice to be a trophy wife and you're not even a wife, especially a trophy wife. You've been watching too much Kim Kardashian and Kanye West and that marriage didn't even work out. So it's insane. Things that make you a trophy wife is having loyalty, value, preserving yourself to one man. Um, growing with that one man, raising a family. You, you've been with probably thousands of men. There's no way that you could say that you're a trophy wife. You haven't even kept your purity. Like, that whole gift that you were supposed to save, you gave to everyone. So it's crazy to me that you're on the internet talking about a trophy wife focuses on herself and then loves herself and all these crazy things before she could love a man. A trophy wife builds with a man from the beginning even when it's hard you grow from the foundation even when it's hard i can't believe you're calling yourself a trophy wife you're not even a wife it's insane like i want the best for you but you got your morals backwards it's the blind leading the blind for real it's like putting your pants on then your underwear it's like you don't do that how are you going to give somebody advice when you don't even you're not even that you're not even a trophy wife you're not a wife it makes zero sense to me Zero sits to be. Beautiful beach right now. I'm at the beach. It's amazing. But, yeah, I mean, I have some stuff I wrote down, so let me go over a little bit of that stuff. Trophy wife. Yeah, I don't even know if you've been married, so. And if you have, it's not successful because you're divorced. So, how are you going to tell anybody that you're a trophy wife when you can't even keep the first marriage you have if you've been married? And if you're a girl out there, a young girl, and you're listening to her, do not. She's, she's setting you up for failure. You might be feeling better about yourself, but if you really want a man and a family and a, a wife and a, a life that's going to last, it's not listening to Lana Rhodes, porn star. It's definitely not. It's, uh, it's actually going to take you the other way, singleness and loneliness until you're like 80. So, something to think about, for sure. Um, yeah. If you're not even a, a, a believer in God or anything like that, Christian or anything like that, you probably shouldn't even get married, especially in today's days. Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing helpful, like 
and especially in America, sorry, let me just say in America, there's nothing beneficial uh, to you by getting married besides when you divorce, somebody splits half your stuff. So if you're not a believer in God or you don't, you're not a Christian or, or you don't have a set principle, I don't even know why you get married. You probably shouldn't get married, to be honest. But if you are a Christian, you should be getting married to somebody with the like mind as you, with somebody uh, as a Christian as well as you. Um, Lana Rhodes, probably not anywhere close to that. Let's just be honest. Probably doesn't think like this and is giving her advice when she's already failed. So uh, you probably want to listen to somebody that's had success, not failure during stuff like this. So I think that if somebody's giving you dating advice and they haven't been married for 10 years, you probably shouldn't listen to them. Probably shouldn't listen to them, especially about being a trophy wife. I'm not getting up in here saying that I'm this professional dating advice. I, I don't give professional dating advice. I just give you what the Bible says most of the time. And if not, uh, I say go read it. Go read it for yourself. You shouldn't listen to man or you shouldn't listen to woman. You should listen to God. And I think that part of reading the Bible will help you understand that, hey, there's more life than just doing what you want and being happy and then finding somebody. It's not about you. That's the problem with Lana Rhodes' theory right here. It's about build yourself up before you could be with somebody else. But it's never going to work. You gotta, you got to find God during that. And you don't have to take my advice for it, but look at where you're at. If, if you're 40 years old and you're single, and you're talking about, oh, be a trophy wife by focusing on yourself, you're already downhill. You're already wrong. So, some things that people should really think about. And I'm not saying that she can't recover and actually have a successful marriage. I'm just saying it's not looking likely for her. Look at her now. I don't even know how old she is, but that's insane that she's up here on the internet telling millions of people how to be a trophy wife when she's not one herself. Her or her friends in the video. I would never want to be with any of those girls, even if they paid me to be. It's crazy. It's not thing that, that what they are searching for is not what any man wants, and especially they want successful men too. And a successful man's not going to want any of that. Why would a successful man choose you more than for a night? Like, yeah, you could get him for the night. You're not going to get him forever. Why would a successful man choose you? You don't bring anything to the table. You gave everything pure away. So you should probably, you should probably reconsider what you're saying and, and who you're saying it to because average men out here want a loyal girl who's not giving it up to everyone, and especially not all over the Internet. Why would you want to marry somebody that's gave their whole body up on the Internet so everyone else could see it? You're not his. So you want me to marry you and be yours, but you're not even mine. It's, it's just not going to work. And I, you know, I hope the best for her. I hope she gets some morals other than her own. I hope she figures it out. But right now, it just seems like she's living a selfish life. It's insane to me. So do not take her advice. If you're a young woman listening to anything, do not listen to her. Listen to somebody that's been married for 10 years. That's how you find a trophy wife. 10, 10 years minimum. But this is Triple Yelp, it's just going on a rant. I drove like so far to make this video, so I didn't have to, but it was worth it. I'm clocking out, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Boom.